All right, this should be a great match. We have Mariana uh, versus Alexandria, and uh, Alexandria is in the blue key, and Mariana is in the black key. So they're going for it right away. Oh, nice guard pull. Got to be careful with the knee there. You know, the jumping guard like that. But it uh, looks like there's no damage done. So, you know, no harm, no foul. This scares me sometimes is all. It's not illegal. But, yeah, I can meet a uh, dangerous jumping guard like that. But clearly she wants to be in the close guard. She must have a game plan from there or very uh, solid attacks from there. You can see Alexandria, maybe she wants to go for uh, maybe a choke or maybe, I don't know what, maybe she, I don't know what she's trying to do from here. I guess just break her posture first, right? Break her posture and then start attacking. But, uh, you know, Mariana's just doing a great job of keeping her posture up, right? <laughs> oh, this could be a sweep about to happen. Especially if she puts her left hand on the mat and pushes off of it. Very good sweep from there. And uh, yeah, I'd like to see uh, Mariana maybe use her knee. Uh, I was just about to, I was just about to say that. Get her knee in the middle to uh, open the open the guard up. And uh, that's exactly what she does. Great work. And uh, passing the closed guard should be thought of as opening opening closed guard first, like breaking the closed guard, and then passing basically the open guard in most cases. And uh, that's exactly what she's doing. She wants to step over that foot or both feet or one foot rather, you know, having the feet on the hips makes her very uh, susceptible to attacks. Right? Any times a, fo a foot is on the hip and not um, underneath your butt, it makes it a little um, yeah, a little more dangerous. Like your opponent has uh, quite a bit available to them. And great Delahiva from um, Ale Alexandra. You see both these guys. Oh, we're sure we go for the triangle. Hard to get. Yeah, beautiful work. Uh, for Mariana using that knee to stop the triangle. Both these girls are very technical. You can see right off the bat, very technical. Very impressive. Was, this is just the start of the match, but I can tell this is going to be a very good one. A nice technical battle. Technical and exciting. Sometimes it's one or the other. And uh, we're going to get both in this situation. She's got to be very careful the triangle. Going for the ankle lock now, possibly. You know, there's no points in this, so not a big deal if you, uh, you know, if you give up the sweep. Uh, I think she might be a little too loose on this ankle lock, have her hips too far away. You can see her, her butt is kind of more closer to the knee than it is the hips. So this should be easy for Alexandria to, uh, to negate that problem. Beautiful work. Beautiful work getting that kind of X guard sweep there. And again, Mariana should try to step over one of the legs of Alexandra. You know, the, the right leg would make a lot of sense to get into headquarters. It look, looks like exactly what she's trying to do. Yeah, beautiful controlling that leg, going side smash. Trying, oh, beautiful from Alexandra, just inverting there uh, to, uh, to stop the smash. Man, I really like what I see from both these girls. Very, very technical. I'd like to see, I, I think they should kind of reset to the center. I think that'd be a good idea just because, um, you know, you don't want to have a break into action, but, you know, it's going to be hard to sweep to uh, to the left in this case. And then you only have the right to uh, sweep towards, right? So it just makes it, you know, more limited when, uh, when you're so close to the edge. Yeah, I think Mariana has some uh, good ankle locks here. She, she must be very confident in them to, uh, you know, keep uh, keep attacking. But it looks like Alexandra is not bothered whatsoever. You know, she does, she does not look phased. And, you know, not a whole lot happening right now just because, you know, we're in this position where, you know, she's a little susceptible to the ankle lock and she's got to be very careful in the way she approaches this, right, not to get, not to get ankle locked. We're kind of just tied up here. I don't know if they're possibly might end, or, uh, end up in a 50-50 situation. Looks like they're not, they're kind of both unsure how to advance from here, right? Again, because it's such a technical battle, you got to be very careful the way you approach things. You know, I think both girls have a lot of respect for each other, which uh, well deserved, right? I yeah, great work. I just love seeing like a technical high level jiu-jitsu. I think it's so beautiful. Again, she really wants this ankle lock, but I'm just not sure she's going to be able to get it um, because she always just has her hips kind of far away. And not that you can't get it like that, but it just makes it, it definitely makes it harder. 
All right, so now uh, Mariana has Alexandra in her close guard and kind of rolls reverse. Looks like Alexandra might do the same style of pass, putting that knee in the butt. She should put her hands on the hips. I think she'd have a much easier time pushing the hips down, right? That's what we got to get down is the hips. So hands in the hips is a much better option. You know, pushing on the knee, great work. Yeah, keeping her, keeping her, her pressure down. Oh, go for the toe hold. Now she's at risk of a knee bar, a toe hold. I think this might have been, yeah, maybe, I don't know if I would try to, I would try to put a lot of pressure or just try to free the knee. Yeah, clear, clear, clear the knee line and she's out. Great work. Man, they just don't let each other settle whatsoever. They, they are very, uh, very skilled, very skilled practitioners here. Beautiful, beautiful. Look at those angles. Look at that. Very fast passing. Outside passing. Very, very nice. Yeah, I think that Mariana shouldn't let Alexandra settle so much and get her head controlled. I think she should have, you know, fought that off more. But now she's getting the underhook. You know, underhook is king. Great job, uh, you know, utilizing that. And now we've got that a bit of a reap, but no big deal. Go for that ankle lock again. I like to see the foot on the hip to really, yeah, there we go. Foot on the hip to really pry it off, uh, or to really pry rather. And then she goes for the triangle. She had that opportunity briefly, but uh, Alexandra is very wise to recognize it and, uh, you know, and deal with it. And I think she's maybe. Maybe going for a choke. Uh, it's hard to see her hands from this angle. Maybe go for like a cross collar choke. And uh, yeah, let's let's see what happens from here. Walking her to the center. You can tell she's got some strong legs to be able to do that. Yeah. Great job. Jumps to the guard. Whoa. Like I said, every time that happens, kind of just scares me a little bit that the leg is going to collapse. But, but these girls are like, you know, pretty light girls too. So, um, you know, maybe not as dangerous as like two like huge dudes or, you know, gals, you know, jumping clothes guard on each other. And they're a lot more mobile and uh, more, uh, what's the word? Like, um, yeah, I, can't, I can't think of the word right now. I want to see that knee in the butt, right? Knee, it sounds weird, but honestly, knee in the butt crack, right right in the middle, pushing on the hips down. That's going to be your best bet. You know, if your knee's out to the side, it's not really going to help you pry that guard open. So it's just a battle right now to get our knee in the middle position. And hands in the hips will do best to, uh, to push the posture down. But both these girls are very skilled, like I said, and very evenly matched, too. Like, they're not just both skilled, but very evenly matched. They, they counter each other very well. Okay, so she's going to want to look to clear this knee shield. Yeah, good job there. Good job. So I'm look for, she's looking for the back step, it seems. All right, let's see. Uh, let's see what Alexander's got in her close guard this time. And Mariana always wants to posture up and stand up, which is a, a great tactic. It's also what I like to do, but you know, I like to control the sleeve for sure when I stand up because you, know, you don't want to get, you don't want to let people have access to uh, to your feet, right? And they start sweeping you. But Mariana is confident she won't get swept even with standing up uh, without control of sleeve. Looks like Alexander wants like a scissor sweep, possibly. Oh, well, almost had a triangle attempt to look like. But again, just so technical by Mariana. And I just want to see Mariana step over that leg, right? Step over a leg. This is so much easier to pass. All right, with that right foot of Alexandra kind of sticking out there, you know, maybe, you know, she can attack with it. But uh, great job for Mariana just uh, smashing that Delahiva down too. Yeah, great job. Oh, yeah, there we go. Going for the Kimura. It might be a little hard to finish from here. Uh, I'd like to see her get out a half guard and then finish. I mean, not that she can't finish, but it'd be easier uh, if you pass the guard first. Great 
Great job. Great job from both. We're going for that ankle walk again. Now it's going to be hard that, you know, Alexander, well, she briefly had her foot on the mat, right? A little bit of a kick to the face by accident. Ooh. That scares me every single time. But again, these are two high level practitioners, so they know what they're doing. So I just want to be clear, I'm not faulting her for that uh, that guard jump. It's not illegal whatsoever. Just it's more so scary when like white belts do it to each other. Yeah, great match. Very great showing from both of them. Very good work. High level jiu-jitsu. Great, great job. 